Hey guys, Rick Denham here with Holy Moly Outdoors. Got an exciting episode today for you guys as we go a little bit on the unveiling of a new toy. We got uh, two electric Mag 10 STX Dan Riggers that I just picked up and I wanted to walk through for you guys what it looks like in the process of opening your new Dan Riggers up and how to put them together and then I'll show you guys a little trick that I like to do for setting them up my own customized way and uh, really helps to, you know, for my comfortability's sake, work better. So, it's going to be a lot of fun, guys, going through this. I cannot wait to get these on a the sled. I got one of the uh, the Meg 5 STs on the boat in the third round rigger spot, and I just love it so much. And these Meg 10s are going to be perfect. So, let's dive in here to what you're going to get with a new Cannon Downrigger. All right, guys, so here we are. On the left is a fully built, ready to rock and roll Canon Mag 10 STX downrigger. We got our one rod holder set up off the back and the best part of what I really like about these is these rod holders are so easy to move to one side to the other or you can pick up a second one like I have on my back ones and ultimately well with these two you can run two off the back of your Canon. Now you're going to end up seeing a little bit different from the Canon Mag 5. The 10 is an extendable boom, which is really nice because your Mag 5 only has a 24 inch to about where that uh, knob is there, and then you're going to have your pulley head on it. But now you can extend these out to 53 inches, really help separate your gear away from the boat, and frankly guys, just as a nice function to have. So, really looks nice, put all together. And we'll dive in here to what it looks like inside a box worth of new Canon equipment. You got your booms and everything that we'll dive into. So let's take a look as we unveil new Canon Mag 10 SDX downrigger. All right, so let's get unboxing the new Canon downrigger right here. We got everything still in the new bag. And keep in mind, this is the end result that we're going to get all put together, nice brand new, rigger ready to rock. So a couple of things you're going to come right out of the box and notice is you obviously have the main unit and the main unit here really is going to be your motor everything that's going to have to do with bringing your lines up we got your main unit set that here off the side it's going to come with an emergency crank handle in case somehow you blow a fuse end up getting uh, your battery's dead, whatever it may be, you can crank up your downrigger with this attachment. Very handy to have. The Meg S 10 STX comes with the swivel mount as well. You're going to have your dual access rod holder that goes on the back. Your accessories to all of your uh, nuts and bolts pulley, everything there, your manual, warranty card, important stuff, and then you got your boom which is in this box. Alright now, we end up having everything out of the package. We're out of the main box now, we got all the major playing pieces in play. So we can start really attacking putting this thing together. And I wanted to show you guys how really easy it is to do so. Um, and we'll get started right now. So you can first go ahead, take the uh, extendable boom. This is your telescoping boom here. So you have the ability with this to extend all the way out on both ends. Got a zip tie to keep it from sliding in the side. We'll set this guy right there for now. 
And you got your dual axis rod holder. Comes with the tube itself, your second access piece, going to come with two rubber knobs to screw in and two springs. Now the springs will go over the top of both of the screw heads here. You will take your dual axis port. The teeth will line up together very nicely and you can figure it really however you want to do it angle wise but you'll take your one put it into the screw hole tighten it down the spring will load up till you get to a resistant point and then now you just have to take the last screw put it in and it'll go right here on the side of the downrigger and just like that it's now installed very very easy but the next thing that I like to do is to put the boom end together so we will set off to the side our rigger head and we'll dive into our bag of goodies. Now, you do end up getting a nice cannon release for those that want to use these. It's a very simple teeth design release. Just a quick separation of the back. You have this open up, put your line through, push it down until you feel a click. And you have tension differences there. Obviously, one push through on the teeth is the lightest. And you can go all the way to get very tight. And then just to release that is a simple pull on the back end. And it's back open. So, nice that they include one of those with it. Then you're going to have, to dig further, this is your boom pulley head. This is your line tamer, or even to some extent you can use it for uh, the clip on the end of your downrigger ball. So, nice piece as well. And what you're looking for here are two things. There is a self-tapping screw that is in here for the boom head which is this guy right here that will go on the boom end and then you have a hook hook eye that goes to the line threader and with that as well you have the appropriate nut that does not have the nylon lock and what you do is you'll put the nut on this end Thread it on, this will go into just before it starts to poke through and you'll slide this up and over your boom. So we'll get this together now and we'll move it just a little bit closer so you guys can see. Okay, so we changed positions here so you guys can see this just a little bit better as we put the boom stick together. Now again, this is the extendable boom. So all it takes is a little twist here to loosen it. Your boom will extend out. A little twist the opposite direction to lock it in. So the same thing goes for the front end. A little twist up. You can get it out. And then lock it in. So I'm going to give it just a little bit of breathing room because we don't want it to slide back in. And that's again you have that zip tie there to keep it from doing so. And you'll see there is a hole right there. And on here, with the pulley, you have a hole as well. So as you put this in, you want that to line up. 
and right when you find the lineup point, which you can see there, this screw is going to go right in there. Just like that. And then that screw will get tightened down, and your boom handle is ready then to pretty much go right into the downrigger. So let's do that next. We'll grab the screwdriver here and we'll do that. And there you go. Now this isn't going to go anywhere, but you have the freedom for this to move all around. And the boom is now ready to get put back in the rigger. Okay, now that we got the boom handle and the pulley system is all installed here, we are ready to put the boom into the cannon rigger itself. Now this is where you have to then just adjust a little bit because you want to pull enough of the boom out to expose the holes here on the extension handle. And before you put it in, this is where this neat little hook comes into play. You line it straight up. And then the hook itself will twist around and you'll get it locked into place. Then you'll take the long bolt that you have that's not the flat mushroom head and this will go through the one side and you have a nylon nut lock nut that has a groove in the back side for that to go. That digs in and you're all set there. Then you come back, line it up the best you can. Get your screw eye on there. And really guys, other than a few other small screws to go in, your downrigger is all squared away other than threading the line through and setting up the terminals. You now are ready for your next step. Now, the riggers themselves come with a nice power system to where this is really easy to set up and manage all you have to do is put whether you're going to have a direct line to your battery with an amp in front of that line or you're going to put a plug into the side of your boat that then has the amp go to your battery but it's a very easy disconnect here at the center line and then these are the plugs that go over the top of it whole lot easier than having a lot of cable running around on the bottom of your boat makes it a very nice unit to use so then next, I'm going to go through the steps of rigging up your own cable for a cannon downrigger. Tight lines, guys. Hey, John. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. This is Rick Denham with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off. If you want to see some more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel and take a look at the videos that are playing above. Lots more fishing action and instructional videos to come. Thanks for watching. Tight lines and good luck on the water. Fish on.